I've turned on my white LED lights and any lights I have in my room because it's supposed to increase your wakefulness and focus. I've learned about it in Huberman Lab podcast. I'll go quickly get my skincare done because I want to be back on my desk studying as soon as possible. First thing I do when I sit on my desk is plan my day ahead. I usually do a to-do list. I'm currently on neurology placement, which is brain and nerves. So I want to do at least 50 practice questions on neurology before my placement starts. Then me and my placement partner will need to go into hospital at 9am to take a history from a patient and examine them for our CBD, which is case-based discussion. I try not to look at my phone and especially go on social media accounts until 8am which is very hard usually but I've been getting better and better at it since the exams are getting closer and closer. Also I am freezing even though I have five layers so I've got this tank top and I've got this t-shirt, long sleeve, sweatshirt, blanket. But I'm still freezing because I live in a student house with other medics and with the current gas prices the heating is very expensive. We've decided not to turn on the heating until December so wearing lots of layers will have to do for another month. I'm gonna go downstairs to the kitchen now but the kitchen is even colder so I'm gonna put another layer on then we'll have a quick breakfast. done studying for now I try to get as much work done as possible in the mornings because early mornings are really my prime time and I can focus and learn the most then that's why my main goal is doing uni work and I do my exercise and have my shower and relax in the evenings because they don't require that much focusing and I can enjoy it more knowing that I was productive in the morning now let's go have a proper breakfast which is going to be my second breakfast of the day <laughs> Good morning, Lavi. Good morning. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm just really cold. I have two hoodies on and this one. I was freezing as well this morning. It's really chilly. When are we thinking of like turning the heating on? I don't know yet. I think you need to be a house decision. Yeah, because it's very expensive. Thank you. Do I usually have this, Clara? This kind of breakfast or? You usually have like wraps for breakfast, don't you? Yeah, I'm gonna put wraps ah, okay. into that as well. <laughs> Just wanted to be like, I am real guys. I actually have this oh, like for life. Yeah. <laughs> she actually does. 
I feel like your breakfast is at like, what, 6 a.m.? Yeah, this is my second breakfast anyway. I guess you could call it for lunch. I mean, I'm doing very like that more than my breakfast. I think I might copy you from now. Really? That? Yeah, that looks really good. It's basically what I put in a wrap, but not in a wrap this time. I like your protein. <laughs> it's so funny, if something doesn't have protein on the label or in it, I just won't have it. The wheat of are also protein wheat of It's oh. so bad. I have to stop. Even this is protein. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's a shaker. Right, you have water in it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. past 8 a.m. now. I can go on my phone now. I'm going to listen to some music when I get ready. I already did part of my skincare earlier, so I'm just going to put some sunscreen on. I'm going to keep this under my scrubs because sometimes in the hospitals it can get cold too. Before I go to hospital, I'll talk about my sleep schedule. I go to bed around 7, 8 p.m. and I've been waking up early throughout my life. And it can be a lonely and antisocial routine. I've tried to get better at going to bed later so I can see more of my family and friends, but it doesn't really work for me. Especially during winter in the UK, the sunset is as early as 4 p.m. So as the days get shorter, it's harder for me to stay awake late. Also, I understand there is all that toxic hype about waking up early to be productive. Productive. But in my opinion, it depends on your circadian rhythm. So whichever hour of the day you can learn the best So waking up early to be productive is no better than going to bed late to be productive and vice versa I remember when I was a teenager I felt like I should also pull an all-nighter and stay awake until midnight to study with my friends And I tried it but I realized I struggled to learn when the time is past 10 11 p.m So it's about making the most of what works for you. I need to leave now, but I'll be doing doing a Q&A as it is requested by you and this is my Instagram so ask me any questions on there and I'll try and answer them in my next video. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. This is my first video shot with a real camera rather than my iPhone. I'm still getting used to it but thank you. Bye! It's so hard to use this camera. Uh...